Now, Olympic and Paralympic athlete Oscar Pistorius has just been sentenced to five years in prison for the killing of his girlfriend, Riva Stinkamp. In the 20 months since the homicide, coverage in the media has overshadowed many other topics. In South Africa, even the Football World Cup came second, according to some monitoring groups. Maria Portnam reports. In the world of 24-hour news, there are some stories which arguably demand wall-to-wall -wall coverage. A country at war. A jihadist group widening its trail of terror. A deadly virus that knows no bounds. And for Olympian Oscar Pistorius. Get under Oscar Pistorius' skin. The trial of a South African Olympian and Paralympic star. Will Oscar Pistorius go free or go to prison? Maybe this headline says it all. Oscar's great escape. Since March, 27-year-old Oscar Pistorius has remained an all-consuming sensation by mainstream media, dissected and devoured by journalists. Pistorius says that he and Riva went to bed around 10 p.m. He was sleeping here on the left side of the bed and Riva was on the right. Given the same crucial attention as global security threats like ISIS, Ebola and the eastern Ukraine crisis. It becomes what we call in America a soap opera. And soap operas are very lucrative for the mainstream media to hold people's attention. Whether the public wanted it or not, it's been nearly impossible to escape. Most Americans have been spoon-fed endless details about a foreign athlete known as the Blade Runner who fatally shot his model girlfriend. If this trial was used as an educational tool to show the uh, wealth and racial inequities in South Africa and some of the difficulties that the South Africans have been having with their legal system, then it, I would say it justifies all of this coverage. But that's not what they're talking about. What they're talking about now is whether Pistorius will go to jail and be subject to being gang raped or something like that. The BBC's non-stop talking about Pistorius has garnered complaints from viewers. Nonetheless, the network has continued its coverage. He changed the way the world viewed disability. But in the business of news, profits seem to take priority for the mainstream media. And it's unclear if the status quo will change anytime soon. Marina Portnaya, RT.